Hello everyone, this is David. I'm just doing a quick review of the HG-1144 Build Burning Gundam Gunpla. Um, here he is, in entirety. Um, no panel lining, no stickers, no painting, no nothing like that. Just threw them together. Um, total build probably took about 35 minutes. Um, he's a pretty simple build. Um, but as you can see, he also has a lot of accessories. Um, because he is a martial artist, if you're familiar with the show, um, he actually has five different sets of hands. He has a fist, um, he has a holding stuff fist, he has a flat hand um, for martial arts techniques and things, and then he has an open hand, and then he also has a burning hand. Uh, that is one of the many effect parts that came with this kit. It actually has a total of four effect runners. Um, all of these transparent blue pieces, um, there, there, um, up on the shoulders, um, and those ankles, um, those can all be replaced with these orange ones. Um, and then you have these back pieces. Um, these are flexible in three spots very very difficult to move they are not going to move on their own um, and then you have these uh, which are punch and kick effects um, <laughs> which i'll show you in a moment that is my son sorry now great thing about this um, one of the many great things about this um, it's very very articulate uh, his arms move at 90 and then up to nearly 180 degrees uh, basically they're just shop stopped by the shoulder guard there The waist fully bends there, and then it tur or turns on a ball joint, um, so he can actually spin a bit there. He can belly dance. He can belly dance, yes he can. Um, and then, unlike a lot of kits, this one actually has shoulders that come disjointed in order to give him a further range of motion. Um, that lets him bring his hands together, so he can do a sort of prayer effect type thing. Um, and then his legs are similarly very, very articulate. Um, it's not quite an MG kit, but what do you expect? Um, it's just an HG kit. Um, feet go fully out like that. That's a part of the effect. The effect pieces go on the, the tipped foot. Um, now, one of the things about this kit I think is just outstanding is how many separate little pieces there are um, that help. Like these right here, both on the inside and the outside, will pop off as you have noticed. And fly away. And they will fly away. But this is actually really great because um, if you're customizing them, you can do them in two separate colors. It's very easy to do and you can't screw that up. Um, so that's nice. Um, and then the inside similarly has those pieces. The skirts are a two-piece um, build. Mm. The arms also have a piece there and a piece there that pop off. Um, so in short, this is a super customizable kit. Um, now, a lot of times uh, whenever I'm talking to people, they will ask me, well, I'm, I'm sort of interested in Gundam. I'm not sure what my um, first kit should be. Give me advice. Um, usually I'll give them a cop-out answer. I'll tell them, you know, whatever you think is um, a good series, whatever has a good Gundam that you like, just find it in HG. Um, but... I actually have a good answer now. This is a great first kit. Um, it's super customizable, very, very articulate. Um, the skirts don't accidentally pop off, um, which is a frustration that you'll get with a lot of HG kits. Um, and it's just an all-around easy but fun build. Um, you have all of these great effects parts, so it's, it's a good way to jump into Gunpla. Um, How easy is it to switch out for the orange pieces? For the orange pieces, it's actually very easy. Um, I'll show you. Those are the shoulder pieces. Uh -huh. So you didn't have to take off any plates? No, not for the shoulders. Um, you also won't have to for the wrist, but I'll show you how the, um, the legs work. The legs are very easy. Um, again, this is a nice beginner kit. So there's the shoulders. Mm. Now for the wrists, you do have to pop off one piece. I was mistaken. And then this piece comes off. But it's it's very, very easy. Um, this simple peg. And then, oh, I'm trying to put it on upside down there, I think. 
Oh no, I had it right the first time. And then these pieces just pop right back on. Mm. Um, the one thing about the effects pieces is it's kind of hard to see the little posts that you use to snap them in because they are transparent. Mm. Okay, so there's those. Now the legs also, it's actually very similar. You just pop mm. off that piece and then this will come out of there. You put this on in replacement. It's oh. like you know the heart of this Gundam. Yeah, just about. Okay. Or does it know the secret heart of the Gundam? I don't remember what the line was. <laughs> it did not come in a Rick Dom. No, it did not come in a Rick Dom. Um, which is a shame. Um, I will be trying that sometime soon um that'll be a fun experiment let's see how that goes so yeah it was very simple i know a lot of that was off screen but mm. it just took a couple seconds um and then there you have the um the burning effects parts the very basic ones um the hands also very similar they just pop off um if you've ever exchanged hands on an hg kit it's exactly like that this is this is not rocket science this is not any new technology he just has a lot of hands it's not even really robot engineering yeah and so there he has his burning hands um i actually really like the um the flat hand um it bends up to the wrist mm. um so you can just that is a little frustrating. Um, the ball joint is a little weird in the center. It is, it mm. is. So he can do like, you know, stop in the name of love, mm. that sort of thing. Um, playing a little rough with it because I'm trying not to go too slow, take mm. up a whole bunch of time. So I keep popping off these arms. Well, you know, mm. he can totally do all sorts of kung fu stances. Does Although, he, does he actually stand with his foot in the air like in the pictures? Oh, with his foot in the air. Um, the piece on it? I haven't tried that yet, but I'm gonna do that right now. So. For an HG kit, it's pretty balanced. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. And I actually, I think that this is the part that goes on the leg. Yeah, the big one. Yeah, he has a little piece that connects to his toes there. <laughs> throw off the balance. It'll throw off the balance a lot. That thing is kind of <laughs> heavy. Yeah. Hey, look at that. So he can do a straight kick up with his fire effect. Um, okay, now they have to bring back the Nobel. You know, they should. <laughs> I mean, it would make sense, although um, she played a sort of weird part in G Gundam, so I don't want that to be repeated. No, no, no. We'll fix it. I hope. I mean, Fumina has already been expressed as a love interest. They already had that um, strange moment. Mm. So that was the foot piece. And then these hand pieces, I haven't actually put them on yet. Um, oh, it's just a slot like that. Mm. Very simple. Mm. And pretty badass. Yeah, pretty badass. And then he has these back pieces which sort of give him that waist is kind of annoying um, I'll have to look and see if I can fix it um, but yeah he, it gives him that sort of halo effect um, you know amply badass um, and that's based on the God Gundam? Or the... <sighs> it is kind of based on the God Gundam it's 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 kind of hard to explain um, <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of hard to explain um, the word burning Gundam never appeared in the um, G Gundam series that um, is purely an American creation and this kit is only a little bit of the God Gundam um, it's actually taken from a lot of other stuff um, mostly other stuff um, mostly other stuff um, but it's kind of like that. Oh, one other little thing about the Build Fighters kits, the 
recent ones is they all have adapters so they can have different backpacks. Um, these two hole style backpacks are for the heavier ones. Um, and these are for the sort of lighter, airier ones. Um, and a lot of the first generation Build Fighters kits um, will attach to this. So he can wear the backpack from the Bear Guy song? Um, he could wear the Bear Guy backpack. He could wear the, um, he could wear the Star Build Strikes, um, mm. Plavsky Wings. Uh, he could wear a lot of stuff. He could wear the, um, the Sengoku Astray pack. Um, actually, pretty much anything from Build Fighters. Um, the, the Exia Dark Matter. Um, he could wear all of those, no problem. Cute. Yeah, but this this is um, the newer one. It, it is reinforced. Um, it's a lot more stable. Mm. Um, and you'll notice a lot of the, the more recent ones, their um, backpacks are a lot heavier. Mm. So anyway, um, this is a great kit. Um, it's low entry level price. So if someone is looking at their first Gunpla, this is a great choice for it. Um, there's a lot of subtle panel lining going on. So if you want to get into it, it's a good place to experiment. Um, for an HG kit, it's really detailed. Um, there's a lot of room for customization, a lot of room for playing. I'm probably gonna do one in like, maybe a pink and baby blue or something, I, I don't know, um, in the next couple of days, because I picked up two of them, they were that nice. Um, but yeah, there it is. There is the Build Burning Gundam HG kit. Um, my advice, pick it up, it's great.